Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who B&M figure review. In this review, I'll be taking a look at the latest TARDIS release from B&M, which is the Sixth Doctor and TARDIS set featuring, you guessed it, the Sixth Doctor and his TARDIS. Taking a look at the packaging, it follows the same guide as the History of the Daleks line and a similar design to last year's First Doctor and TARDIS set. As this set is for the Sixth Doctor, it's in the yellow and white colour scheme and features pop-outs with that information. On the front of the box, we've got the Diamond logo, the TARDIS graphic, the limited edition sticker, the name of the set, and some diamond pop-outs that say the contents of the set and the scale of the figures. Then we have the nice big window, which unfortunately is open to the elements once again. I do understand the thought process, but it feels like a massive oversight in my opinion. Moving to the left-hand side, there's another slightly smaller window, along with the sixth doctor at the bottom, the diamond logo, and the same two information diamonds as on the front. The right-hand side doesn't have a window and instead just has the diamond logo and the content of the set. On the top, instead of the single line logo like the History of the Dalek sets, we have the diamond logo again, along with a character website. And finally, on the back of the box, we have a large biography for the Sixth Doctor and the usual logo and information. I'll start by taking a look at the Doctor. This is the Sixth Doctor in his outfit from the 1989 stage play, The Ultimate Adventure. Now, this is no reflection on the quality of the figure, but I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed by these releases not being based on the show. We had two comic Doctors last year, and now we've got this one. When there are loads of figures that could be made instead, these feel a little bit too niche, even for Doctor Who fans. Anyway, this figure is the entire same sculpt as the original Sixth Doctor figure, which, as the box says, came out 15 years ago. The face is a good likeness to Colin Baker, and on this version, presumably to save money because of the billion colours on his outfit, the face hasn't actually been painted, instead it's been moulded in the skin colour plastic. And actually, I think it looks quite good. The hair is brown with a light wash over the top which really brings out the sculpting. Moving down to the waistcoat, the base colour is white and it has various different coloured stripes on it. It has yellow buttons as well as his blue cravat at the top, question marks on his shirt collar and a green chain. The coat itself is a much tamer version of his TV outfit and it primarily is made up of purple, blue and red, with a few bits of pink on the back. The collar, pockets and cuffs are darker with white patterning on. Much like the face, the hands have also been moulded in the correct colour instead of being painted. Looking at the trousers, the same thing has happened here. They've been moulded in yellow plastic and then had the stripes painted on over the top. This figure has an alternating pattern of one prominent stripe, one faint stripe. The shoes are brown and have a white rim running around the edge. Overall, this is a really nice figure, it's just not one I'd have picked. But particularly for a B&M release, there is an impressive amount of detail, and the quality control is really excellent. I hope this opens up the line to slightly more complex paint applications in the future. Moving on to the other item in the set, we have the TARDIS. This TARDIS isn't based on the prop from The Ultimate Adventure, but instead a more generic representation of Colin's TARDIS during his time on the show. So looking at the colour, it's a lot darker than the 5th Doctor boxes we've had in the range, uh, and there's this really nice weathering effect over the top of it, which really makes it look aged and battered, as it would have been by the late 80s. The police box signage at the top is blue with white text and continues the weathering. The lamp on the top is the standard 80s one and is in the same dark blue. The lighter wash of weathering is much less prominent on this part, but still looks good. The windows have been given this really nice faded effect on all of the non-textured panels, it's a bit like what we saw on the Sharda TARDIS back in 2019, but instead of being painted on the outside, these appear to be new coloured window panels. The phone door is the same blue and white as the top signage, the keyhole has been painted gold and the handle is silver. The same weathering is present around all four sides, to varying degrees. The doors open in the same way we've come to expect by now. You push the right hand door until it clicks into place, and then you just push the left hand door in. Then to close them, you pull the left hand door until it clicks, and to close the right hand door, you just push the button on the floor and the door will snap closed. Looking at articulation, the doctor's head can turn side to side. There's a 360 at the shoulder, bicep and wrist, as well as a bend at the elbow. His waist can turn, his legs can kick forwards and out to the side. He has a 360 at the thigh and finally a bend at the knee. Overall, I do like this set. I think the TARDIS is definitely one of the best ones we've had in the B&M line and finally feels like they've nailed the 5th and 6th Doctor prop. The Doctor is also a nice figure and definitely stands out among the other 6th Doctor figures. I'll be interested to see if the 6th Doctor gets any more releases now as they seem to be running out of things to do with him. 
much like they have with the fifth doctor. But yeah, in isolation, I like it. Just please, no more extended universe figures for a while, eh? And if you can find this set, you can currently pick it up from B&M for $24.99. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later in the year with more reviews.